Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tosi, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video. Uh, today, nice and sweet, uh, we're just gonna talk about the uh, enhancements that uh, Mr. Zargbath, Ash, and Rastler, those three characters from uh, Final Fantasy XII, got. And I gotta say, uh, Zargbath, you guys saw it on the, the fight versus the chopper. Uh, he's been really, really, really good, and he just got even better. So that's always a character that I liked using, but uh, with the ability awakenings that he got, I like using him even more. Uh, so let's go over his stuff real quick as we're going down here. He has a lot of things, so you guys can see right here. Uh, authority, basically increase your attack by 40% when you're equipped with a sword, great sword, katana, armor, uh, and a spear. Once you awaken at the second time, you basically get an increase in attack by 50% and also defense and HP by 20% when equipped with a sword. Uh, great sword, katana, armor, spear. You guys saw it on the fight versus uh, the chopper. I gave him the light bringer because he has that beautiful thing right here. Let me see where it is. Right here. Uh, Flames of Justice. Increase HP and attack by 20% when you equip him with a light weapon. And basically, if you equip him with a sword, he also gets an extra 50% attack and defense HP 20%. So basically, you give him the Light Bringer. Uh, it's a sword and it has light anima uh, element on it. So you get a 40% buff in HP, which is pretty, pretty crazy, if you ask me. So that's uh, one. Word of Law. Basically, light magic damage. That's the mitigation move that he gets. He also attacks with it. Uh, light magic damage three times with ignore SPR 50% to all enemies. Mitigate damage 20% uh, for three turns. So basically, it goes from two turns to three turns. Once you awaken it a second time, it basically becomes 30% mitigation for four turns. So that thing's really, 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 really strong. Uh, abilities are expensive 500,000 uh, gil. And it takes Guard Crisp, but uh, nonetheless, if you're going to be using this guy as your main support, because you don't have, let's say, a Bard or Nicole, uh, put it, put everything on him, because he becomes really, really good. Then he has Rejuvenate, basically recovers HP 100% and MP 50% to one ally. Uh, now, when you do it once, heals 6000 HP with a 6x multiplier over 3 turns and refreshes 60 MP with a 0.6 time multiplier split over 3 turns. So now for 3 turns, let's say you put it on your tank, while well, your tank's just gonna be, you know, getting his MP back. Let's say you use Warrior of Light or Rastler, because we're gonna be talking about him. Uh, it becomes really, really good. And once you do it the second time, you guys can see, uh, 15,000 HP with a 10 times mul multiplier split over 5 turns. Then 150 MP with a one-time multiplier split over five turns. And now your character or your tank has auto-revive 80% HP for five turns. That thing's really, really strong. Uh, you just use it to cast on your tank. Or let's say you're using a magic cover tank and you want your healer to be doing something different. Well, this guy does the job. Uh, the moves are expensive. So you guys, 50 MP... Once you awaken a second time, it's basically 75 MP, so this guy's gonna need a lot of MP. But you can cast this on him, and basically he's not gonna run of MP forever. Uh, 250,000 gil, and it takes healing Chris. Basically the last one is probably my favorite one. Arcadian Light, uh, we're gonna go right here. Uh, it's basically 60% buff to attack, defense, spirit, and magic for 3 turns. And increases resistance to blind, para uh, paralyzed, confused, and disease for 3 turns. 65 MP. Now, once you awaken it to a level 2, because we're going to skip the first one. Increase attack, defense, magic, SPR 100% for 4 turns. So that, thing's be that, that becomes really, really good. Uh, then increases resistance to blind, paralyzed, confused, and disease 100% for 4 turns. Plus, increase resistance to stop... 100% for 4 turns. So that thing is really, really, really strong. It's expensive, 100 MP, and it's a million gil if you want to awaken it. But trust me, if you're fighting a boss that does element, uh, not elemental, but uh, if he's doing, um, <clears throat> what's it called, status ailments, and you're scared about Confuse or pa uh, Paralyze, this thing is amazing. You basically do Arcadian Light the first turn, then you cast Rejuvenate or Word of Law, and you just keep going between those things, and your party just basically is not going to die. So that thing is really, really good. 
uh, is no joke now. He got that much better. The fight against the um, the Iron Giant is actually really, really good in that fight since now the Giant can't really confuse you or paralyze you. So that thing is really, really strong, guys. Don't sleep on this guy if you have him. And if you don't have a good buffer, he's the man now. He's actually really, really good. I've been using him a lot and he's really, really fun to play with. Uh, so that's it for uh, Mr. Zarkbat right here. We're going to move on to Ash. Basically, I use her the most in the arena because she's amazing with Evan's Fury in the arena. Uh, we're going to go over things. Basically, uh, basically, basically, meditate, increase magic and SPR 45% for 5 turns. Uh, the MP got reduced here, so it's 42 MP. Instead of what? What was it? 57. So instead of 57, it's 42. And now, the second time you awaken it, increase magic and SPR 65% for 5 turns and refreshes 20 MP with a 0.5 times multiplier split over 5 turns uh, to all allies, which is not bad. Uh, but she, you're not going to use that much, trust me. Uh, Power Seeker, increase attack and magic 50% when equipped with a sword. Now you get an extra 20% MP uh, and the second time you awaken it. Basically, attack and magic are 180% and HP and MP 20% when equipped with a sword. So that's really, really good. Uh, like I said, I use her in the arena. I have two and I just use Evan's Fury because it's an hybrid move. And that thing is really, really strong in the arena. Uh, not too expensive, 250,000 guild. So that's not bad. Then you get the big chaining move. Magic damage, 2.6 with ignore 25% SPR to all enemies. Uh, now you're gonna heal 1,600 HP with a 3 point time, uh, 3.4 times multiplier to all allies. Uh, 45 MP is not that bad, still the same. Then magic damage, once you awaken it the second time, three times multiplier with ignore 25% uh, spirit to all enemies. Heal 2,400 HP with a 3.4 times multiplier to all allies so basically the way it works you do a little bit more damage and you heal your party a little bit more so that thing is really strong uh is it worth awakening if you have a lot of gil and if you have a lot of healing crist go for it uh but for me you know in the dam uh, in the arena especially because you cap out to 999 and just having both of them with my veritas of the light hitting uh i cap out really fast so i don't think i'm gonna be awakening that uh, it's a lot of guild, but if you do have a lot of guild and you're looking for some characters to spend your guild on, well, and if you use her often, go for it. But for for all of that, not that bad. If you use her a lot, awaken it. Uh, if you don't use her a lot, then don't waste your precious guild and your and your crisps on her. So that's for Ash number three. Bam, Mr. Rassler, the guy who. Uh, you know, we kind of uh, forgot about him because he wasn't that good. We didn't know if he wanted to be a tank, a damage dealer or healer. But now, basically with his things, uh, he's actually that much better. Uh, we're going to go right here. All light, all resist light uh, plus one. Basically increase light resistance by 50% for five turn to all allies, which is okay. Then the second one is actually really good. 70% 70, uh, 70 light resistance to all allies for 5 turns. So that thing becomes really, really good, especially if you're fighting a boss that does light damage, and it's only 60,000 gil, which is really not that bad. This is where it becomes a lot better. Royal Obligation. Chance to protect all allies from physical damage 40% with mitigation, 40% uh, for 2 turns to caster. So if we compare it right here, basically you had a chance to protect all allies from physical damage, it was a 20% chance to protect everybody. So it wasn't that strong with a 30% mitigation for one turn to the caster. So it wasn't that strong. Now, when you awaken it the second time, it becomes a 70% chance to uh, mitigate the da uh, to protect all enemies. Protect all enemies. Chance to protect all allies from physical damage. It's a 70% chance for him to jump in front of all the attacks and take the damage. And he's going to medicate damage 60% for 3 turns to himself, which is really, really good. And he also gets a buff in his defense and spirit by 100% for 3 turns. Uh, that thing becomes really, really good. I mean, uh, Warrior of Light is damage medication it ranges between 50 to 70%. And this guy is always 60% damage medication. 
Uh, the cover is actually really good, 70% chance to jump in front of everything. And the increase in defense and spirit is actually really, really good. Because right off the bat, uh, if you can't buff your party for X or Y reason, well, he's going to buff his defense and spirit by 100%. And uh, he's actually really easy to build. He also has some uh, magic damage, uh, magic damage, magic moves. He has Karaga, Isunaga, Heal, and Cure. So let's say your team is doing really bad for I don't know what reason. Well, he has Isunaga, so let's say you need to clear or get rid of some uh, status ailments, he can do that. If you need a little bit of heal, he can do that too. So none, uh, not not bad at all. Not bad at all, Mr. Rassler, you're getting a thumbs up. I think you're becoming a lot better. And uh, we're going to try to use you in the future, that's for sure. Then the last one, Vanguard, uh, Vanguard Slasher increases defense by 50%. And the Awakening gives you an extra 30% in SPR when you equip Heavy Armor. And the last one, Vanguard Slasher plus 2. Basically increases defense 50%, SPR 30%, and HP 20% when equipped with a Heavy Armor. Plus, if you equip him with a Light Armor, he gets the same buffs. Uh, not too expensive also. 120,000 gil uh, support Chris. You probably have a lot of those. Guard Chris for Royal Obligation. Um... I think I'm gonna. I think I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna make this happen for this guy. Uh, I always liked that character. Uh, I was just you know sad for the guy that he came out and Zargabat and Ash was the main characters from this banner. But he's actually not bad and he has a really good TM. Increase HP by 30% and defense 20%. Plus increase light resistance by 30%. This guy is no joke. He's gonna get a lot better. Uh, you know what? It all depends on the amount of gil, if you have a good tank, if you have a really really good tank, if you have bash, let's say, well, maybe this guy's not number one. If you have warrior of light, uh, I still think he's the best 100% provoked tank. Four star, I'm not going to say five star because Willem, Willem is pretty sick, uh, four star tank. But if you have this guy and you have no other tank, well, don't sleep on him. He's actually really, really, really good. Uh, and he's going to get the job done a little bit better now, guys. So, tell me what you think about these uh, Ability Awakenings. Uh, Zargabat, this dude, I'm so happy he got all of that. Um, one more thing. Thank you for everybody who subscribed to the channel. You guys are awesome. And for, everybody, uh, for, and for everyone who's already subscribed, you guys get two thumbs up. Uh, you guys have been showing a lot of love and a lot of supports in the last videos so i really appreciate thank you for everybody who showed up also on the stream that i got friday night you guys are sick awesome and tell me what you think in the comment section about these characters do you like them uh, do you like the awakenings and uh, all that fun stuff guys if you are new to the channel please leave a thumbs up on the video also Click on the red button and subscribe for more content from your boy Toasty. And on that note, I'm out. Peace.